guys, it's Mustang Girl 74 here, and we're back on the Book Rock server. And I kind of hopped on today, uh, or I should say this evening, because I was watching Jude Samurai's live stream earlier today from when he was helping Joker. And, um, well, he kind of filled some spaces full of crafting tables that. He made out of my own wood. So we're going to have to think of, well, something to uh, prank him back with. And I don't know what that is quite yet. Let's see. I think he used... Open. Yeah, see, he used like three or four <laughs> stacks of my dark oak wood to make these crafting tables. So one... I have no idea how many crafting tables there are exactly, nor what I am going to do with them all. So, let's see, I know he put some up here. Say, look at this. Look at this. Who's going to use all these crafting tables? I do kind of make a cool pattern though, but <laughs> that's beside the point. So. Um, let's see what, I, I'm pretty sure he just did one of these up here. And then he sort of blocked my way out as well. Where's that ladder at right here? Pretty bad. Anyway, we did get these towers finished finally. Um, yep, see I can't even get up here because, well, there's a crafting table in my way. I should have grabbed my axe, didn't even think about it. But anyway, as I started to say, we finally got the towers done, so I'm kind of thinking about of what I, we should be doing next. Um, I'm going to need to do a little bit of decorating for sure. Why did that not... <sighs> yeah, it did break. It's in my inventory. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to start on the bridges next or what I want to do for sure um, but I think today I'm just going to do a little bit of grinding maybe work on getting some uh, string and um, as you can see there's just crafting tables galore anyway and um, I'll probably clean all this all up off camera but I just kind of wanted to show you that um, yeah, now Jude's starting with the shenanigans with me. Um, come on, get down this hole. I hate ladders. I'm so awful with them. But anyway, um, so, and like I said, I'll do some grinding here and think about what um, I want to do next. Um, and then once I decide what that is, um, I'll bring you back and... Uh, let you know what we're going to be working on next. And I also do believe that June blocked my way out as well. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I can't even get... And to break those, I'm going to have to break my scaffolding. Dang it, Jude. Alright, so, um, like I said, I need to clean this mess up. And um, figure out what we are going to do next. And once I've decided uh, what that is, we'll bring you back and we'll get started. So, um, I'll, when I've got that decided, I'll be back.
Okay, now that we have that mess all cleaned up with the crafting tables, um, I decided that I wanted to go down to the spawner area and um, make a better or easier way to get to them without having to make all those convoluted turns and stuff. So um, we're going to work on that next. And then I think our next build, big build, well, it's not really big, but our next build project is going to be um, one of the bridges across and then at some point um, we'll pretty up the way down to the spawners um, but I think today right now I just wanted to um, make an easier way to get to them and then we'll worry about decorating in that later so we'll get right <laughs>
finish the pathway down to the spawners and I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like um, now that we've got it done. I put in these stairs here um, just to make it a little easier to go up and down. And then I've cleared out this area and changed the path going down. Um, I'm probably going to put, I got some ideas of what I'm going to put in here, but I think I need to widen it out a little bit. Um, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to have to widen because, and I'm going to have to be careful because I think it's, it, I don't want to run into the water. So I'll just have to, to see um, how much space I actually need because I want to get a kelp farm started. Um, just because we're having so much trouble with getting coal. And I know I can make charcoal, but I thought, you know, why not do, do a kelp farm? So, um, but that's probably one of the things that's, that's going to be down here. And I want to change um, that cobble gin that I have up there. Um, I'm thinking of maybe changing it out with a different one. Um, and both of those designs will be um, Sense, Centronet's designs. And when I do those, um, I'm not going to show you on camera since he has tutorials on both of them. Um, what I'll do, I'll just put a link um, to those videos. So if you want to go back and, and see the tutorials, you can. Um, okay, so I added this this around just so you don't kind of fall in. But And I will probably swap out a lot of these torches for lanterns at some point. But for right now, um, this is the way it's going to be. So, and I was swapping out all the um, different types of blocks with stone. But like I said, just because I don't know how I'm going to design this yet. And then I'll probably put a door here. But this kind of goes into an area where, you know, we've mined, um, mined it out some. And there's like gravel that I may need to get later. And, but I thought it just, you know, kind of to, to separate it. Um, uh, you make it easier to for anybody who may come over that yeah you just you go the, down this way and I might put some signs up too but I'll put a door on, on that at some point and then you just kind of follow down here and then here I'll have a double door and this goes off into another area where we've kind of mined um, and some of it I kind of closed off um, from the what it was originally just to put those stairs in so this this kind of doesn't really lead to much of anywhere but um, if I want to come down and mine in this area I can because I do need to do some mining so I probably will pick a spot in there to mine down and then just kind of come down this way and to our spawners right over here so um, I don't know if I want to like close off this area or just leave it open I'm thinking I may just leave it open. Um, my, I don't know. I'm, uh, maybe not. Because um, I want to clear out a lot of this here, a lot of this gravel. And I'm probably going to move all the villagers out here. Um, and just block them up for now, I think. Because um, the mechanics will be changing for one point of love. What is our? I think the next update is 1.11, and the mechanics for those villagers will change. Um, so I'm probably going to wait to really do anything with them until then um, to see how I want to set them up. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you a, a quick, um, quickly show you because before we had, you know, had to come down this way and around and. You had to make all these turns and everything to get down here. So this just makes it a little bit easier. And like I said, I probably will add signs just for anybody who may want to come to use them. They know where to go. And I'm probably going to put stairs um, in these two sections there, but I haven't done it yet. So, you know, that's just kind of what it looks like. Um, I think it makes it a little bit easier to get up and down. And... I think that's pretty much all I have time for uh, today. So I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Bye.